In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the mean green machine of the Reason Rack, Maelstrom. Using its one-of-a-kind grain table synthesis, we'll dive headfirst into the deep end of sound design. Maelstrom's unique combination of granular and wavetable synthesis makes it the go-to place for the weird and wonderful as well as classic synth sounds. The included pre-processed waveforms can be manipulated in a variety of ways, and just blindly tweaking a few rotaries will often lead to amazing new textures. We'll keep it slightly more focused though, take off our blindfolds, and aim for creating a nice synth pad. Begin with a Maelstrom and make sure you reset the device. For this pad, we want the typical slowly evolving floaty character. We'll adjust the amp envelope to give the sound a nice long attack and release. Ah, brilliant. That about does it for me then. Frank out. Hey Frank, there's a lot more. What more do you need? I... There's like another page of this script. Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, so, so. All right. yeah. okay. So, uh, anyway, the real strength of Maelstrom is in its unique oscillators. In each oscillator, we can select a looped waveform. The index slider determines where the waveform starts playing, and motion sets how fast it's played. In fact, setting motion to zero gives you a static waveform that won't change at all. This is great for finding a nice little grain of sound to build sweet, sweet music from. There are quite a few waveforms to choose from, but we'll select the Blurb Flies waveform and adjust the motion to sweep through it very slowly. To expand the texture a bit more, we'll also enable Oscillator B. A different waveform is probably a good idea, so let's take something weird, like this guitar waveform here, low twang, and again, bring down the motion a bit. and you hear it's sounding good already. To add some additional motion, we'll use Maelstrom's modulators. You can use these modulators to affect different parameters of the sound, like with an LFO. The guitar waveform could use some additional movement. To only modulate oscillator B, choose B with this little switch right here. And now we'll bring up the index rotary to modulate the index of oscillator B, and then bring down the rate to make the modulation a bit slower for a slow, evolving timber. Now that's a nice pad sound. Now let's add some reverb and call it a day. <laughs> 